Okay, so I wanted to review this now that it's done. So Owens Corning garage door insulation kit. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you guys how we did this insulation on the garage. I'm going to post a link to this product in the description below. I ordered it on Amazon. This was about three full boxes, but it came out to about two and a half uh, because I had about 20 slats that needed to be filled. So link's gonna be below. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we have here are these insulation panels and we're gonna go ahead and put them on this door all the way across. You can see there's a few in here. I think this is gonna be enough just to do half of this garage and then we'll need another box or two possibly. Do like Taking the spray glue and just kind of adhering it to the sides. You have to buy this separate. This is what they use right here to hold it. And then you put that glue. All right, so everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you guys are able to cool down your garage. Uh, I did insulate the roof. The roof was not done. I will share more details on that and this combined, but so far it's worked. There's a couple other ideas that I'm gonna be implementing, such as ceiling fans and possibly even a T off the air conditioning duct to bring it into the garage. But right now I'm just using this Vornado uh, fan right here. I'll post a link to that right there. It's good for circulating the air. And over there, I did, uh, I do, you can see the sunlight that's coming in. I'm not so sure that is necessarily bringing in too much radiating heat. And I will say this, this wall right here is not insulated. So the sun, for the most part, is on the other side of the house. It comes up over here in the morning and then just kind of transfers. So the roof and this side and the door were where a lot of the heat were coming in. So I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks for watching and subscribing to Urban J T, uh, Reviews, and I'll see you guys on the next one.